Good morning, friends. It is day three of moving and pretty much everything got moved yesterday and we had our first night in this house last night. So it went really well. It's always different staying somewhere new and you kind of wake up and you're like, where am I? But overall, it was pretty smooth. Everything is here. We have stored all of our other house stuff that's not going in the barn apartment out in the actual barn part of our pole barn. So everything else is out there, which is kind of nice. That way, if I need something, I can go and grab it. But the inside is still needing some reorganization. Just threw everything in and left it just so it could have a place. So I'm going to probably play around with everything in there. And I also have some clothes that I still have to put up. And I do have some stuff left at the old house that I need to bring over. Just like bathroom stuff, some extra rugs, just things here and there that I knew I needed to grab, but they weren't like pressing. So go back over there, grab that. And then I'm going to clean the old house completely. And I'll probably do like an empty house tour or something, or maybe I'll just show in that video where I'm cleaning it really good. I'll share the whole house in that video. So that's gonna be really fun. And they did buy quite a bit of furniture from us. So there is gonna be some stuff that's staying. I think one of the main things that needs reorganized is our closet situation. And I think it's just gonna take some time. We just had to throw some stuff in and things came up that I didn't realize Taylor wanted to have out. Um, things came up that I didn't realize I wanted to have out, like all my filming equipment and things like Brooks's backpack and just little things like that you don't really take into consideration <laughs> or I didn't, I forgot about it whenever I was planning out what was going where in the closet. So we ran out of space really quick and I'm gonna have to figure out some systems for that. But overall, really smooth transition. Really thankful for that. I've been praying for that. So let's go ahead and get started. We also got the bed moved into the bedroom last night and it feels very cozy. It's a very um, tight quarters in here, but it was just fine. I brought in this little end table from, I don't remember where I had this at. I used to have it in the living room and then it was in the office. I also have this lamp and my diffuser on my side of the bed. That way I can still read and have my nighttime oils going. It's just like my nighttime routine. And then Taylor, <laughs> we couldn't find a nightstand that would fit. So he grabbed this organizer from the bathroom <laughs> that was supposed to go in there. And he's going to use that just because literally nothing else would fit. Um, a dresser wouldn't, it was too small. So, and then the closet situation is pretty much the same other than I have Taylor's clothes over there now. And I have part of my clothes and um we just have a lot of stuff underneath so i do have some lamps they're brass lamps that are going to or they're not lamps they're wall sconces that i'm going to have come out of the wall that way i can move that lamp and we'll have some more space and if we want some light at night we'll be able to turn those on instead of having like extra stuff on the side tables. That is in that box there. So that's gonna be going away. I need to organize the hats. I've got a really cool organizer for them, but we've got just extra stuff. And then I have a shoe organizer down at the bottom that I think I'm not gonna use for shoes. I'm gonna use it for like Brooks's backpack and my filming equipment, computer and stuff like that since that's a safe spot for it to go. And I really don't have anywhere else for it to go. So unless it's under the bed and I don't really want that. I'm also going to get some different organizers for the gray one and the black one in the middle there. They're just driving me crazy. I need it to be cohesive. I might even just get all new organizers for that section and then save those for Brooks's playroom in the new house. That way they don't get worn out. I don't know. I just want it to be very cohesive since it's open shelving. It'll just ease my mind a little bit. And then um, the wooden crate, I'm also gonna find something different for that. We did bring over this dresser also, and this is great. We brought Brooks's TV. He likes to, you know, watch movies when he's taking a nap and stuff. So we brought that, but these bins have Brooks's clothes in them. 
just his little pants and jeans. And then I've got all of his jammies and um, stuff. And then I've got my things in here, Taylor's. And yeah, still have to hang some pictures on the wall eventually, but not worried about that today. And we have Brooks's little mattress um, that we roll out and it goes right here and it's super cozy. out this Amazon box of things that I have ordered over the last couple of weeks for the barn and it might be fun to do like a video showing you guys my Amazon purchases for an apartment or like a smaller space um, I've just got some really cool things like there's these wall hooks that are sticky and they're like command strips basically but they hold a lot of weight so we're gonna put those in the bathroom I also got some like magnetic door stoppers and then I've got some closet solutions so this one here is a hat holder that's supposed to save space with hats we like our hats so I got two of these it came in a two pack you basically just hook your hats onto these little clips down here and it will hold them in place and then you just slide this over a standard size hanger so let's try it out i've got a bag full of my hats taylor's hats and a few of brooks's as well i also had a solution for saving space um, with the hangers by adding these little i think it's called a hanger saver here it is so basically they're just these little hooks that you can put on a hanger you can hook another hanger to it you can store your clothes more vertically versus having them all just on one rack so hopefully this will work especially for brooks's clothes I know Taylor has to have more than one hat. I just don't know where they're at. All of mine and Brooks's hats are going to fit on one of these. So I think what you do is you just hats in place and then you just hook them. So you just fold the hats like they would normally go and you kind of just line them up. Okay, look at that. All right, that works out pretty well. Okay, 10 hats, there we go. So now I'm gonna take my hanger here and I'm going to undo these. Okay. Fold it, fold it back under, and button it up. Okay, there we go. Put these right there. They hardly take up any space. I'm gonna put it up here. There they are, all our hats. Okay, now let's try out the hanger savers. And I think I might stack them down according to the colors so like all of the orange stuff I'll have that in a row so let's just spruce this up a little bit
Okay, so when I'm organizing the clothes, I like to do it by color, and I do the Roy G. Biv um, color wheel pattern. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. I had to think of the last two. I also do the whites, browns, and blacks like at the end because those aren't technically in the color wheel. Everything by color, and I'll start out doing short sleeve, long sleeve, sweatshirts, jackets all the way to coats so that's what i have here in his black section i'm going to take these little hanger savers so i'm going to slide this on to the last one i'm going to start with the very end of that section and it just hooks onto here and then now the next piece can go down vertically and then i'll add another one next one on to this hanger and then i can hang this one down so now they're going vertically and it's just going to take up one main hanger space. So I'll see probably three is the most that I'll be able to get away with going down vertically. guys that just saved so much space so much space so I went from having all of those hangers in the black to four hangers I did go four shirts down with just like t-shirts but the rest of the things I just did three for hoodies and coats yes this is gonna say so much space and this may not work if you have a really short area to have your clothes unless you have just smaller clothes like kids clothes like this but since this area is really long you can keep stacking down if you wanted and everything's on its own hanger and you'll be able to just pull it off you don't have to um, take everything off at once like if you wanted this shirt you could just take it off does that make sense? And then you could add that one underneath it to the top one. So it's really a great little system. I'm really loving that. I'm gonna go in with the brown. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the creams and then whites and then we'll do the colors. Are the clothes now so much more room up here having extra space for the hangers and then if i know he wants to wear an orange shirt i can just pull them out or if he wants to wear a green shirt i'll be able to pull that out um and so on so that was amazing and these were really affordable All right, it's a few days later now, and this past weekend we worked on hanging some pictures on the wall and shelves and some hooks. We put a few things up in the bathroom, just random little things to get the house settled, and it's getting there very slowly, but it's starting to feel like home. Now we've lived in here for over a week, and I tell you what, it has been such a smooth transition. I was really worried about going 
moving from a larger house down to a very, very small apartment, but you guys, it has been totally fine. Thank you for bearing with me as I show the whole process of just bringing everything in and getting everything in its place. I know I've mainly shown the master bedroom, really just the closet area, but I do have plans on showing decorating our living room, decorating our kitchen, and I have a lot to do in the pantry still and just like drawer organization and stuff like that. So that's all going to be coming up really soon. Hope you guys have enjoyed seeing these videos of us packing and moving and um, cleaning the house. If you missed that video, I cleaned our house one last time, which was so bittersweet. We officially said goodbye to our last house. So I'll link all of those videos down below. I'm going to make a video showing how we built this barn that I'm talking about the apartment. So we bought some land last year. We bought some acreage and we had plans on building a house there, building a pole barn. We went ahead and built our pole barn and then we decided to build an apartment in that pole barn to live in while our house was being built and we could also sell our previous home. So that's what we did. We just sold our last home and we moved right into the barn apartment. But Taylor and my dad pretty much did everything in this apartment. And I have footage showing how we designed it, how we created it, how I picked out all of the kitchen stuff, which was super fun. I went with green cabinets, you guys, green, which is so out of my comfort zone, but I love it. So that video is coming very soon, showing literally dirt when nothing was here last year and all the way, the whole process of putting walls up, insulation, drywall, painting, electrical, plumbing, <laughs> picking out cabinets, where we got them, our countertops. I even redid this little table right here to use as an island. The good thing about the barn is we were able to do half of the pole barn as the apartment and we're going to leave it. And then the other half, we didn't even have to rent a storage unit to store all of our belongings. It's all out there, which is kind of chaotic, but it works and we still have plenty of room to like walk around and um, get through. We can't park our cars in there because of all the stuff, but it's no big deal. So anyways, I just wanted to give you an update on that. Make sure to like this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. I cannot believe how close we are to 100K. You guys, that is nuts. I literally cannot believe it. I've been on YouTube for a little over four years now and that has been a goal of mine since the beginning. But I think at the beginning, I was just setting goals like 1,000 subscribers and just hitting that and getting monetized. Such a fun journey getting here and I wouldn't trade it for anything. So thank you for following along my channel. It means so much to me. I'm so excited to hit 100K. I'm gonna have to do a fun giveaway once I hit 100K because that's just a huge, milestone. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon in my next one. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.